Wow. <sighs> what you're about to see is absolutely crazy. Someone literally just did this. Yes. <laughs> this guy literally got a face with his tattoo on his forearm. Jesus Christ, bro. That's crazy. That's... That's ridiculous. That's crazy. Let me see if I can find a real guy who did that. You have to give him a shout out because... Okay, so this is his Twitter. I mean, he says, my brother got the face tattoo. Looks great, I'm getting the same one. Okay, go to his ad. Please. Please tweet him. Um, you know, it's crazy, you know. That's actually crazy, so. Yeah, it's, it's a late night right now. I'm about to go to bed, but it's like one o'clock, so. Welcome to the gay trap, episode 13, bro. This is crazy. We definitely leave a like for this. We have to, you know, can we get like 300 likes or four, 400 likes for this? 400 likes for this face fitness tattoo. Let's do it. <laughs> Good night, boys. I'll see you guys in the morning. So, what's going on, guys? It is Friday in the evening. Oh, damn. Those are some nice ass clouds. Anyways, it's Taxi Service Jasper. Back again in full effect. Um, we're picking up, not my sister this time, but picking up David from the train station. And right after that, we are um, training with David. So, you know, I talked to David and we wanted to train because I know he always coming back from his um from Utrecht where he has his university and stuff on Friday so I was like you know maybe I can train with David today I woke up very very late because <laughs> yesterday uh, it was so dumb it was the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life um yesterday I, I took G Fuel at like 11 11 30 p.m <laughs> and I couldn't sleep bro it's so bad so uh I woke up really late so I thought, you know, I'm just gonna go later. This doesn't have any, you know, it doesn't make sense to go to the gym now. So yeah, I'm currently in the car, he comes in in like 10 minutes. So we kind of have to hurry a little bit, but we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Yeah, so um, let's go. Yeah, this shit is not random. Now I'm matching it. Put the hours in and stay passionate. Wasn't blowing money, I was stacking it. Figure what the fuck I wanna do with life for breakfast. Hit. Pay attention, none of this is happening. By what is going on, guys? Welcome back to a new workout commentary for you guys. Um, today we're looking at some back and bicep footage. Um, I trained with David, as you all know. I picked him up from the train station and we went straight to the gym. Um, we started out with some T bar or V bar rows. V bar rows, it is, not T bar. Fibar rows. Um, the reason why I start with this today is because I feel like I want to bring up my uh, the inner part of my back a little bit more. Uh, I feel like uh, I have a pretty good development at the sides of like the outsides of my back and like the shoulders and the lats. Those are pretty good, but I really want to um, you know improve my inner the inner side of the back. So uh, with this, you can really target that well. So. I thought let's start off with this we can go heavy and uh, focus on this exercise first so with this one as you can see I'm swinging a little bit but um, I'm really stretching um, far down and then going back up and that works uh, pretty good for me um, I don't lift with my um, well, my legs but I lift everything with my back so um, the reason that that's the reason why I go down like that um, second exercise we did is some um, pullovers is obviously an exercise that targets the lats, um, straight arm pullovers, as you can call them. Um, as you can see, David is a little bit bending, um, so that way you're a little bit implementing some triceps, which uh, you don't want to do. 
as you can see here, I'm keeping my arms in one straight, uh, in one position. So uh, it's not 100% straight, it's like a little bit bent, but um, I make sure to keep it in that same angle throughout the whole movement. So um, all the focus of the exercise goes on to the lats. Um, I did this three sets, um, 10 to 12 repetitions. And for the last set, we did a drop set, um, which was really nice, uh, which is something I always recommend doing. So. Uh, implement some supersets, some drop sets, and see you know if you can really fatigue the muscle. So uh, next exercise is some bend over rows. Same thing with this. I go pretty far down to get a good stretch in the back, and then going up to contract the back, pulling with my elbows, overhand grip, and I'm not fully gripping the bar, but I have my thumb over my um, over the bar as well. So it's a complete overhand grip. Uh, that way, I feel like I can target. Um, the lower lats a little bit better than if I just fully grip um, with the thumb under the bar. So uh, first exercise we did for biceps is just some nice uh, bicep curls with dumbbells. Very good lighting today. <laughs> um, but yeah, we did this. This is a pretty standard exercise. I, I um, explained this a lot of times to you guys. Uh, it's one of my favorite exercises to do for biceps to start with. Um, either that or just the barbell curls. Uh, just to get a good butt flow and um, you know you don't you don't want to go too heavy at the first exercise but um, so I think this is one of the last sets we did that four sets and then eight to twelve repetitions um, on each arm obviously um, then we finished off with some ghetto as um, cable curls we couldn't find the rope so uh, we used um, one of our towels to do it so that's kind of ghetto um, but yeah it felt really good um, I prefer doing with the rope anyway, but we couldn't find it, so we thought, you know, whatever, well, let's do it with this one. So that's the, the final exercise I want to sh um, share you with you guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, those little tips. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Um, I'll answer them all, and I'll see you guys in the rest of the video. And we're back home. It was very, very busy in the gym, so I hope you enjoyed the back and bicep clips. So right here, I ordered myself a book. My very, very, very first book that I ever bought in my entire life. I'm not much of a reader, but you know, this is definitely worth reading. Um, it's a book called How to Tell Your Story in a Social World of Madness or something. How to Tell Your Story in a Noisy Social World, that's it. By Gary Vaynerchuk. Very interesting guy, so I'm very excited to read this. But um, yeah, I'm about to edit this video now. Make sure to get up for you guys today on Saturday. Hopefully, there's soccer tomorrow. Um, you, know, you just never know if they're gonna call it off or not. So yeah, I'm just gonna start editing this now and I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Game Train series. I'm still gaining, weight in was 68.4 kilos. A little bit of stagnation right now, but we'll be good. Tomorrow we're gonna do a lot of groceries because next week I'll explain tomorrow but tomorrow's gonna be grocery shopping so yeah see you there peace